Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, doing and doing well. Um, for those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. Um, everything you could possibly need is in the description box below. I have other channels. Um, I do a monthly giveaway on this channel. Directions are below. It's super simple. Um, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started here for Gemini, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Tell me about Gemini, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, please, spirit. Tell me about Gemini, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay, Gemini, let's see what we have here for your current energy right now. Let's see what we have here for your current energy. We've got the Seven of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Oh, gosh, Gemini, you guys are going through it, huh? You're just very confused at the moment, very disorganized, feeling very overwhelmed. Um, you, maybe you're having trouble around crowds. Like if you're around people, it's like you just have to get away. You're, you're not in the mood to be around people right now. Yeah, you're just overwhelmed with something. Okay. All right. So let's see what the challenge here is. We've got the Four of Swords and the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. I feel like your challenge here, Gemini, is you're trying to heal. Um, you're trying to heal. And at the same time, you're trying to save face. Like you're pretending that everything is okay when it's not okay. You're trying to show that something's not bothering you when it is really bothering you. Okay. Let's see here. What does Gemini not see coming? The unexpected here for Gemini. The Hermit, Virgo energy, and the Two of Cups. Gemini, I think that um, you're starting to look at the current relationship that you're in, or maybe you're starting to realize that you are actually in love with somebody or still in love with somebody, or you're just starting to examine a certain relationship, like you're picking it apart and analyzing it. This could also be that, you know, you may have some thinking to do if somebody wants to come in and reconcile. The Two of Cups can also be a card of reconciliation. Or you may be shocked to find out that, you know, you're still in love with somebody. Okay. What is in the past position here for Gemini? What is in the past position here for Gemini? Okay. We've got the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Leo, Sag, Aries. We've got the Ace of Swords and the Justice card in the reverse. Well, this is somebody that got treated really unfairly. This is somebody that got treated really unfairly. And the Knight of Wands in the reverse is an ugly energy. Okay, this is like the total hit it and quit it type of energy. It could be that you're coming to the realization that what you did was wrong. Okay, the moon card, you're keeping a secret here. You're keeping a secret. Did you do something? Did you do something here, Gemini? Maybe you had a one night stand, a drunken night or something like that. Because this could be that you drank too much and you know, you were overwhelmed with drinking here. Did you have like a, a night where you got a little too drunk and you slept with somebody and maybe, you know you caught feelings for that person. You know what I'm saying? Maybe there was something there or now you're trying to figure out what to do with your current relationship. Tell me about this Knight of Wands and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, the Ace of Swords and the Sun card, Leo energy and the Justice card in the reverse with the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. A very quick and impulsive thing was done here. And I feel like maybe you feel the need to say the truth or you're starting to realize here that you can't get this person out of your head. I think you caught feelings for this person, Gemini. Okay, let's see what we have here for the present moment. Or maybe you're finding out that this person caught feelings for you. I mean, these can be vice versa. Okay, 
So we've got the Six of Wands, the High Priestess, and the King of Cups. So we've got the King to the Queen of Cups here. I feel that you have been uh, successful with showing people that everything is just fine. Okay, but I feel like you ended up meeting somebody or sleeping with somebody that is in fact your true pair, King to the Queen of Cups. You had a very spiritual experience with this person and you're missing them. Like you feel you you met somebody and it was very quick, but it was like it's like you can't get this person out of your head. You feel like a part of you is missing without this person. Tell me about the six of wands here for Gemini in the present moment. We've got the six of pentacles. You see the high priestess and the wheel of fortune and the king of cups. Look at that to the King of Wands, Leo Sagittarius energy, and we've got the King to the Queen of Wands, King to the Queen of Cups. So Gemini, you're 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 appearing like everything is fine. You're you're giving to who you need to give to, taking the kids to school, dealing with your partner. You're you're do your everything is fine. Okay, you're pretending like everything is fine, but with the High Priestess and the Wheel of Fortune, it's like. Your intuition is telling you that something really big has happened or something really big is about to happen, okay? The King of Cups here, I feel like emotionally you're trying to get in control of your emotions and not look at what happened, but it's like your heart and your passion is facing the past, okay? Your heart and your passion is facing the past, I feel like, you know, what's unexpected here is you may start withdrawing from any current relationship that you're in. People are going to notice it. Okay, they're going to notice it. What actions do we have coming in here in the future? What actions do we have coming in here in the future, please? We've got the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Cups. You're going to have to tell somebody. You're going to have to tell somebody with that Ace of Cups energy. You fell in love with this person. You fell in love with this person. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. You're going to hit this person up. Now, Gemini, uh, Taurus, Capricorn energy, you may be married. Okay, you may be married. You may be in a relationship here with the Two of Wands and the Six of Swords. If you make this decision, you may get kicked out. You know, it is very possible. But I, I feel that, you know, a conversation is going to happen here of I want to be more than friends. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. And the King of Swords, Gemini Energy, there you are. Seven of Swords here. I, I like it's like it was a one night stand thing. I'm type I'm kind of feeling, but you know, the chariot, Cancerian energy, and the ace of cups, you can't forget about it. You you're reliving this over and over in your head. Page of Pentacles and the Death card. Scorpionic energy. When you send this message, it's going to change your entire life. It's going to change everything for you, okay? Let's see what the outcome of this is, please, for Gemini. What outcome do we see here for Gemini? What outcome do we see happening here for Gemini? What outcome do we see happening here for Gemini? We've got the Four of Wands, the Ten of Wands. Yeah, it's getting harder and harder for you to be in your relationship, for you to be home. Page of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, energy, and the nine of wands. I feel like you have to speak your truth here. You can't hold it in anymore. You can't hold it in anymore. Okay. Knight of pentacles and the nine of swords. This has been going on for too long. You can't live like this anymore. You can't live like this anymore. The chariot in the reverse, Cancerian energy, and the lover's card in the reverse. You feel like it's wrong to stay in a relationship that you don't want to be in, okay? You're not in love with this person anymore. You don't want this relationship anymore. Um, I feel like you're breaking up with somebody to go towards somebody new. And I feel that you met this person and it was very quick. It could have been, maybe there wasn't even sex involved. Maybe you just bumped into somebody at a party. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you just had a conversation with somebody and you can't get this person out of your head. And I feel like if you hit, if you hit this person up and say, listen, I really want to see you again, it will turn into a new relationship. Okay. It will, it will turn into a new relationship. Um, 
Let's see what advice we have for you here, Gemini. What advice do we have for Gemini, please? We've got false person. Yeah, you're living a lie right now, Gemini. Staying in a relationship that you don't want to be in. We have great fortune. We've got despair. And we've got poverty. So you see, it's like th that wheel of fortune again. Like you, you're you hiding how you feel. You feel like you, you encountered something really great. And with despair and poverty, I feel like you're really scared that if you don't make a move, right now you're gonna lose this opportunity forever you can't stop thinking about this person now gemini of course this could be vice versa so take it as it resonates message and judication yeah i feel like you're gonna make the decision to go for it and if you do make this decision i do feel that it will end well i do feel like it's gonna turn into um you know a, a relationship okay you know yeah, I know it sucks that you have to leave your current relationship, but staying in a connection where there's no longer feelings or that you just don't want to be in, that's torture. You know what I'm saying? Waking up every day and pretending to be happy, that's no way to live, Gemini. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I love you so very much. I hope you enjoyed and take care.